Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Saturday, March 23rd, 2024, the Memorial of St. Toribio de Mogrovejo. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who gave increase to your Church through the apostolic labors and zeal for truth of the Bishop St. Terribius, grant that the people consecrated to you may always receive new growth in faith and holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John, chapter 11, verses 45 through 56. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was a high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing. Nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was a high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on they planned to kill him, so Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another as they were in the temple area, What do you think, that he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel is one that is always read on the Saturday before Palm Sunday because we're setting the stage for what is about to happen to Jesus as we begin Holy Week. Caiaphas, the high priest, speaks at a meeting of the Jewish ruling council. Now, the high priest at that time was closely associated with the Roman ruling power. The Roman governor gave that high priest a certain autonomy in running the affairs of the people provided, of course, that he was loyal to Rome and ensured that the people remained loyal. Caiaphas would have been concerned, naturally, to ensure that the Romans were kept on his side so he could maintain his own political power. And we can hear that concern in the words of Caiaphas in the Gospel reading today when he says, If we let him go on in this way, everybody will believe him, and the Romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation. If Jesus, the Jew, starts to gain a large following, especially in Jerusalem, the Romans will take action and everyone will suffer. This leads Caiaphas to make his pragmatic solution. He says, It is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. The individual, in other words, can be sacrificed for the, quote, good of the collective. And this rationalization has been a way of thinking for a long time and it remains with us today. Individuals don't really matter. What really matters is the nation, the people, the collective, the state, or the institution. That's how oppression begins. In the ministry of Jesus, the individual mattered a great deal. He related to each person with respect to their uniqueness and individuality. It is above all the individual human being who is precious in God's sight and needs cherishing by others. The good of the collective can never be pursued at the expense of the individuals who make it up. 
Jesus was put to death for the people to preserve the perceived good of the nation and to keep the status quo. The irony is that Jesus did die for the people, but not in the sense that Caiaphas intended. He died out of love for all, to gather together into one family of faith the scattered children of God. We are all members of that new family that was formed through the death of Jesus. As members of that family that has Jesus as our brother, we're called to relate to others with the same care for the individual as Jesus showed. And so today, let's pray that we will hold dear the rights of individuals as unique and precious in the eyes of God. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.